he said yes. Okay. So I'm trying to do my homework, and all I can hear in the back of my head is the entry of the cliche, roses are red, and I've never seen a violet. And my believability that it was a real flower was a bit hesitant, so I did the only thing a logical girl of my high attention span could do, and I googled that ish. <laughs> and I came across its explanation, and I started writing this, because it turns out that plot twist, violets are real. They actually do exist under the entry viola. See, they're these flowering plants with little heart-shaped scallop leaves, and if you cut them open, then underneath are these little gold spheres where they reproduce and all that junk, but the point is they're like the real deal. In horticulture, they claim fame to the term pansy, and there's over 400 to 500 classified species, and truthfully, if you ever gave them to me, I'd just tear them open and stare at those pretty little seeds, and it'd remind me of you. N not that you're a pansy, but that every little piece of you is magic, and that if you were just skin and bones, and lose the illusion, you're freaking crazy. Like, my kind of crazy. Like, maybe for a week we should eat only tangerines and see what happens to us scientifically crazy. Like a roller coaster crazy, where you're riding high and your stomach is in your throat and you get off at the end and it feels like a good kind of nauseous crazy. Like, I want to stay this kind of intoxicated crazy. Like, I had a hard time starting this poem because I had that stupid Irish rap song that you always play in the car stuck in my head crazy. And like, if we both actually go crazy, I hope they lock us in the same padded room, crazy. Thank goodness forbid. And <laughs> I've read in Greek mythology that humans originally had two heads, two faces, four arms, and four legs, but they got to the point where they thought they were better than the gods, so Zeus knocked them down a couple of pegs and separated them. And now they wander the earth aimlessly their whole lives, looking for their other half, and so in hopes that they can be whole again. I'm not 100% sure if I believe in that because I'm a strong proponent of individuality, but if it's true, then God bless lucky you and me. Even if it's knock on wood temporary, at least we got to ride roller coasters every day and spit poetry and read the braille of skin on each other's cheeks and learn what it really means to have two heads and two faces and four arms and four legs and bring each other back up a couple of pegs. Crazy.